Welcome to Highline Excel 2013, class video number 25. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 214, Week 4, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about Goal Seek. And here's what Goal Seek does there's a formula, it's based on formula inputs. And I want to tell the formula what I want it to evaluate to. Now, what if analysis, that's why Excel was invented. We can change this, 20,000. Instantly it updates. But if I'm trying to get that formula exactly to $500, so I know, because that's my budget, so I can know exactly the maximum amount or the amount I want to spend on my car, how do I do that? Well, I could keep trying, right? That's how Excel works. You change the formula input, the formula changes and updates. Control ZZ, no way. If you know you want exactly $500, you just use Goal Seek. Goal Seek will make the formula evaluate to exactly what you want by changing one of the inputs. And we will say change car loan price. All right, you ready? It's on the data. What if, in the data tools, Goal Seek. Now, in this version, the keyboard is Alt A W G. In earlier versions, it was under the Tools menu, so Alt T G. Now, here's how it works there's three parts. The set cell must contain a formula that's pointing to some formula inputs, and this is the formula you want to evaluate to some particular number to value, you can't link this to a cell. <laughs> There's no collapse button there. These have collapse buttons, but not that one. So you just have to type it in, 500. That's what I want this to evaluate to. By changing, that's the formula input. So get it. Instead of us manually changing this all the time, we're pointing with goal seek to the formula. I'm saying, I want you to be 500, and please change this it will iterate back and forth until it gets an answer. Ready? OK. And just like that. You can click Cancel and just read it here, or click OK. There it is. That's how much I can spend for my car if I want my loan to be exactly 500. Now, Goal Seek respects Control-Z or Undo, so I can undo it, right? Now, another silly example. Now, here we have sales. Here's our contractual commission rate, and here's our commission earned. And our goal is get to 1,000. Well, if you didn't know the formula to figure out how much your sales should be to get to 1,000, you could use Goal Seek, Alt-TG. Hey, that's a formula. I want it to be 1,000, and I want it to change the formula input, the sales I currently have. Click OK, and instantly. It will tell you. Click OK. You got to have 40K to get that 1,000. Now, there's a relatively easy formula for this, but you know, a lot of times you don't know. Goal Seek comes to the rescue. All right, we'll see you next video.